Lock your doors, watch your back, and store your valuables in your trunk. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most dangerous cities in the United States. For this list, we mainly based our rankings on the FBI's latest statistics on violent crimes, which include murder, aggravated assault, rape, and robberies. However, while many of these cities are at a low point in their histories, there's nowhere to go but up. So, hopefully they'll see their fortunes turn soon. Number 10. Atlanta, Georgia Dubbed the capital of the New South, Atlanta is home to global headquarters of mega corporations like Coca-Cola, The Home Depot, and UPS, as well as the cable news network CNN. Aside from its rep as a hub for business, Atlanta is a cosmopolitan hotspot with fancy restaurants and a hip nightlife. But it isn't all rainbows and unicorns in Georgia's capital. Life of a thug is life of putting your life in risk at all times. It's located along several popular drug trafficking routes, which means Atlanta's violent crime rate has historically sat well above the national average. It's not for money anymore, it's not for the gang anymore, it's just people going out just doing what they feel like doing at the time. It's not any organization to it at all. However, those rates did drop significantly in the first decade of the 2000s, so hopefully it won't be on this list for long. Number 9. Baltimore, Maryland Maryland's largest city is rich in history, culture, the arts, and crime. 13 days into our new year and 16 people have already been killed here in our city. In June 2013, Baltimore saw a record 28 shootings and 10 homicides in just five days. In August the following year, stray bullets from violent disputes in both Baltimore and nearby Prince George's County killed three three-year-old children. As opposed to other violent cities that have seen a recent decline in murder rates, Baltimore saw a 7.3% hike in homicides in 2013. Plagued by drugs and poverty, Beemore figures prominently among the most crime-ridden cities in America. But all this killing, we ain't providing nothing. Only thing we providing is message to show our youth that this world is fastly destroying itself. Number 8. Birmingham, Alabama We uh, have breaking news now. We are getting some information uh, on the victims from yesterday's shooting at uh, UPS. Described as the cradle of the civil rights movement, Birmingham is Alabama's largest metropolis. Once a booming industrial center of the South, Birmingham eventually saw roughly 25% of its population living below the poverty line, which is approximately double the national average. That high poverty rate, paired with the ever-present drug trade, has kept the crime rate up, to the point where its crime rate is one of the highest in the country, regardless of the city's size. Crime tape marks the murder scene near the loading dock. Through this door, the dead man in an employee-only corridor connecting to the kitchen. While those rates have gone down in the last few years, they are still way higher than the national average. Number 7. Memphis, Tennessee Home of the blues, barbecue, and Graceland, Memphis also has a huge criminal culture. Crazy how you could just see someone one day and then the next day they're gone. With over 180 gangs in the area, including gangster disciples, crips, Bloods, La Raza Nation, and MS-13, Memphis is plagued with serious gang violence. A dubious distinction for West Tennessee tonight. More dirty cops are busted here than anywhere else in the country. Add corruption in the police force to the mix, with an average of 20 police officers arrested yearly since 2009 on various charges including DUI, extortion, drug trafficking, sexual solicitation, and more. And it's not surprising that Memphis figures on the FBI's most dangerous cities list year after year. He's on video counting cash, a bribe, investigators say. Number six, Chicago, Illinois. Cook County Sheriff Sergeant pumping gas. Suddenly three men in hoodies approach him. One man displays a gun. Chicago has battled a gun violence problem for years. The 2000s saw staggering murder rates often coming close to or surpassing 500 per year. 2013, for example, started off with a handful of murders on New Year's Day alone. By the end of the week, the number had already reached double digits. This is a six-month-old six child who haven't had the chance nor the opportunity to live. Her mother never seen allowed to see what she would become. A mass shooting at a basketball game in Cornell Square Park in September of that same year left 13 wounded. The next year didn't fare much better, 
as 4th of July weekend 2014 was a bloody one, with over 80 shootings taking place, 16 of them proving fatal. It's supposed to be Independence Day, but it's not independence for parents who lost their children to gun violence or any other citizen in the city of Chicago who lost their life to gun violence this weekend. It's no surprise that the Windy City is number six on our list. Some of the stories we're hearing right now and that are going national are shocking the rest of the country, but Chicago's been dealing with this violence for quite a while. Number five, Camden, New Jersey. The skyline of Philadelphia is almost painful to look at from here because it's so close, such a glittering symbol of wealth and prosperity compared to here. Home to Campbell's Soup headquarters and the first drive-in movie, Camden was once a thriving town that boasted businesses that employed thousands. Fast forward 60 years to a crime-infested ghost town where poverty reigns. City officials count nearly 200 places where illegal drugs are sold in the open. Making the most dangerous U.S. cities list since 1998, Camden's crime problem has been deteriorating for several decades. Labeled a food desert by the USDA for its lacking access to healthy food, and with its over 50% poverty rate, high unemployment, and a standing as America's poorest city, Camden became a wasteland of abandoned homes with no money to tear them down. Chaos took over and the crime rate soared. It may take us longer to get there, but at no point in time can we ever quit. Number four, St. Louis, Missouri. Four people were walking here along Laclede Avenue in the Central West End when police tell me that Thur Lester Johnson robbed them at gunpoint. With the third highest murder rate of any major city in the country in 2011, it's no wonder St. Louis clocks in at number four on our list. You know they sell dope out here. You know they shooting out here. And you got your five-year-old son in the car, right? Most of our shootings are drug-related. While violent crimes have been going down in the last decade, there were still a recorded 120 murders in 2013, sending the murder rate up by 6.2% from the previous year. Missouri State Representative T.D. Elamine has asked the governor to order the National Guard to help patrol the most dangerous North St. Louis neighborhoods. And with the shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown by police in the Ferguson neighborhood of St. Louis County in August 2014, and the riots and violence that followed, it will probably not be a great surprise that crime statistics in St. Louis took yet another hit. Protesters threw Molotov cocktails and fireworks at riot police, who responded with tear gas and rubber bullets. Number three, Flint, Michigan. Begin with breaking news in Flint where a state trooper has been shot. The birthplace of General Motors, Flint was once home to thousands of auto manufacturing jobs. But with the decline of the U.S. auto industry, most of those jobs are now gone. 66 people were killed in Flint last year, tying a record set two years earlier. Close to 40% of Flint's population lives below the poverty line, and the city has had to cut back significantly on police budgets, having a huge effect on the city's crime-fighting efforts. With just over 100,000 residents, Flint saw almost 70 murders in 2012, and over 50 the following year. This one got lucky. Shots fired, but cops come immediately. Sometimes in Flint, they don't come for hours, not since the city laid off a quarter of its police force. It's effectively created a war here, and it's a war zone. The city is also especially dangerous for women, with the most disturbing attack being the rape of an 87-year-old woman in the middle of the day back in 2012. It makes me just want to leave here. No, I don't want to stay here no longer, because I don't want to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Number two. Oakland, California. A break in the case of a paramedic murdered in Oakland. Police have arrested five teenagers, all between the ages of 14 and 16. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Oakland figures in the top five cities nationwide for gang homicides. This California city's main problems stem from poverty, the drug trade, and gang-related crime. I live in the killing fields, that's how I look at it. I ain't gotta go to Beirut to know about war, you feel me? found just across the bay from San Francisco, Oakland was also classified first coast to coast for violent robberies. As the city faced budget cuts, the police force shrunk significantly and was soon one third the size of other cities in the state, even though it's plagued by the most crime. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hector Rodriguez is facing first-degree murder of Winter Park High School teenagers Jeremy Stewart and Nicholas Prochet after they were shot execution style. Their bodies burned along the East Orange County walking path. And she comes out with the little girl and she says, call 911. 
My name was Amanda Berry. Now, did you know who that was when you when she said that? When she told me, it didn't register until I got the call in 911. And then I'm like, I'm calling the 911 for Amanda Berry? I thought this girl was dead. It's the ranking Buffalo doesn't want to brag about. It now ranks as one of the most dangerous cities in the country. A 15-year-old murdered in Little Rock after a prank when a man fires his gun into a car full of seven teenagers. That's where witnesses say a white man dressed in black military-style clothing burst into a Sikh temple during Sunday morning prayers and opened fire. He was one of seven killed in the incident, which ended in a police shootout. It was pretty brutal. Meredith Cole is angry. Her and her boyfriend were in downtown Springfield just after midnight on the 22nd of August when they were assaulted outside the Outland Ballroom. Number one, Detroit, Michigan. While we work all day, they stay at home and figure out whose house they can break in and take their stuff that they didn't work for. Once a booming metropolis and the automotive capital of the world, Detroit has seen a steady decline since the mid-20th century. On my way to work, I come outside, my car gone. This morning? This morning. It's called the police? Yep. They show up? Nope. After major industries started outsourcing their manufacturing jobs to cheaper pastures, unemployment soared. As a result, Detroit's violent crime rate hovers around five times the national average, and it has the highest homicide rate among big cities. Kinnan says younger criminals are scary. In the past, bad guys might rob you and then try to get away. The young criminals, uh, they don't, they, they'll kill you, and they'll kill somebody else, uh, and they don't care. Add the recent bankruptcy to the mix, and it's not surprising that Detroit snagged our number one spot. 139 square miles, the largest city in the United States. So they can't service it all, and they don't have the tax base to do it. Anybody with any money has left town. Do you agree with our list? What do you think are the most dangerous cities in America? For more serious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.